Hi guys, so I know the lighting in this video might not be the greatest because it's kind of like it's the glowing hour, glow hour, sun hour, I'm not even sure what it what I'm talking about. On December 31st, I put a post out on my Instagram about leaving me questions so I can answer. It can be about like New Year's resolutions. All I said was, Happy New Year's Eve, babes. I'm going to be answering questions that you guys leave in the comments below. Ask questions about the New Year's, school, drama, slash friends, and it'll be up on my YouTube. So I got over 42 questions, and I'm just going to go through some of them that kind of like stood out to me. What are some of your New Year's resolutions? For YouTube, I just want to upload more frequently. For just school, I want to be on top of my game. I want to get my homework done, get to sleep on time, get to sleep at a reasonable hour. For friends, just make sure lots of great memories. Just make sure I don't take anything for granted. What was your favorite memory of 2017? I've had so many memories of 2017. I can't really just pick one. One of them definitely has to be when I went to Washington, D.C. with my 8th grade class of 2017. Also, when I went to Canada with my family. And then also when I went to Portugal in the summer. And yeah, basically that. Do you think 2018 will be a good year? Honestly, I have no idea i told myself that 2017 would be a great year full of laughs and it def there were definitely laughs and great memories in 2017 but it definitely wasn't a good year overall so i don't know i'm hoping for the best for 2018 what is the hardest decision you had to make in 2017 i like to hold on to a lot of things so when it comes to letting go that's definitely a hard decision i don't have to be too specific on what it is but just letting go of certain things in 2017 were definitely really hard to do what are some things you would like to do before 2018 is over i'd like to go on king the in Six Flags. I thought that'd be very, very cool. I've been wanting to do that for a very long time. So I really like rides. I like having that adrenaline rush. I want to do that. If you had to choose to wear black or white for the whole year of 2018, what color would you wear? Probably black. Do you think you could get 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year of 2018? Um, to be honest, I'm not going to lie. No. Um, you have to really work hard to get to that certain number. And it's not just a number. It's people that are viewing your channel, watching your videos every single day. What can you do when you are bullied i necessarily don't think i'm getting bullied but obviously i do get a bunch of stuff for like my youtube channel and school and stuff i mean some people are just, like so forth they're like like they're like wow it's so cool you have a youtube channel i feel like some people take it for granted and some people just like abuse it someone like use me or whatever if i do get bullied or if i like hear some people say things i kind of like just brush it off i don't really know how else to explain it i've come to the point where if something really really bothers me i will speak up about it however if it's something like my youtube channel i kind of just like don't don't have a care in the world when it comes to that stuff i'm like if you want to waste your time just talking about me and trashing me then i don't really want to hear about it you can do you can talk as much as you want it's not like it's gonna have an effect on me if you could change one thing from last year what would it be i believe that everything happens for a reason so i wouldn't really want to change anything are your eyebrows natural yes they are natural i don't fill them in i don't wax them or anything i leave them the way they are i know like a lot of people say like whoa she has ugly ass eyebrows and you know what okay i'm sorry they're my eyebrows not much I can do about it. Do you have a boyfriend? No, I do not have a boyfriend. I'm trying to go relationship free, hoe free, everything in 2018 free. I just want to let go, be with my friends, hang out with my friends. That's all I want to do this year. I'm 14 years old. I think I just should let go and just live like a normal 14 year old. I don't need someone else in my life to satisfy my needs, I guess. It's not, nothing like directed towards anybody. I'm just like speaking the truth, speaking how I feel at this at this time in my life. How do you deal with boys and school? Boys, okay. I've come to realize that when it comes to friends and it comes to boys, to minimize the amount of people you have in your life. I'd rather have three really close friends than have 50 friends that might not always be there for you. I have a lot of friends that are guys and I have a lot of friends that are girls. However, it comes to the point where who's going to be there for you at the end of the day? Who's gonna be by your side? And those are the types of things I focus on. Friendships to me are very important. I don't just take them for granted, obviously. I like to spend time. I like to focus on that certain someone. If I do find that there's a potential that we can start being friends and that you will be an important part of my life. That's why I always like to take a chance when I see someone new in my life. You came into my life for a reason. Let's make this work. And if it doesn't, then it doesn't. Like, not much you can do about it. Do you like boys with cute booties? Hell yeah. Were you one of the losers to try the Starbucks unicorn drink thingy? Thanks, Julian, but no. There's like a lot of controversy on it, if it was good or bad. No, I did not try it, so I'm not a loser. How do you handle drama with friends? I don't really like to deal with it. I mean, I've been in a lot of group chats before on Snapchat and stuff, and all I do is I just literally leave the conversation, leave the group chat, slowly just like minimize yourself from it. That's what I did, and it's been working out great. I've been dealing with a lot less drama this, this year, which is great because I don't think it's really necessary. Can you do a tongue taco? Yes, I can. 
How was slash what was the change from middle school to high school? Going into high school, I was definitely like combining myself with other people from another town. So definitely that was hard. That was definitely a big change. Finding new friends, which isn't really a big change for me because I've been doing it for a while now. Do you like having a bigger grade now or a smaller grade? I've always enjoyed having a smaller grade. I just think that even though drama goes way quicker in a smaller grade, I've always liked having like my tight friendships and like I know everyone in the grade. I know who to go to. I really do miss middle school. Not gonna lie, high school is just not my thing. I've only been in like high school for like one semester, so not like I can say much about it. But from what I've been going through right now, high school is not my thing. It's not my cup of tea. So yeah, and that's basically all the questions that I got today. If you guys enjoyed this kind of like 2017 recap questions, happy new year. And I hope this year will bring lots of joy and love into your life. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video.